we heard Nokia talking about um, the next phase in the development of apps, that is um, a, 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 a much enhanced focus on localization. We heard Tom Daly from Coca-Cola talking about how mobile could contribute right along his, that, his supply chain all the way into, into th their relationship with consumers in some highly innovative ways. We talked about Sprint this morning, who are interested for the first time, in, who are interested now in addressing uh, uh, 60 million unbanked uh, families. Um, we, we're, we, heard, we had a lot of new ideas about mobile remittances, about mobile social commerce. So there was a, there's a lot of innovation in this market. It's a time of, of actually of great disruption. I think there are clear commonalities of theme, questions of business model, questions of partnership, questions about payment, questions of trust. Um, but what is very evident is that the answers to some of those questions are very different. Uh, the United States is, a, is, is a, a highly developed internet market, it has a highly developed payments infrastructure, it has a trusted banking environment uh, in which most people participate, um, it has a number of very large brands who are, who, who are in the market now, uh, Google is focusing on it. Latin America is a very fast growing, a very fast growing market which, for which, for in which most people's first exposure to the internet will be through smartphones that have not yet really begun to penetrate. SMS is still the, 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 the major medium of communication. Uh, trust in, in institutions and financial institutions is maybe not so widespread. Um, the, relationship, the relationships between the value chain still need to be constructed. So it's the, 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 the answers are going to be very different. MEF's universality along the value chain that makes us both uh, unique and effective. Instead of representing one particular link in the value chain, which produces very, very clear, very coherent, but sectoral interests. We represent all those interested in making the mobile channel uh, uh, grow to its full potential. And although that's complicated, and running MEF is a complicated, ex a complicated process uh, for those who do it, uh, it ultimately makes us much more effective. It gives us a, a complete visibility, and we're able to focus upon those, those challenges which really do unify the interests of everyone in the, in the different parts. Transparency, respect for the consumer, make it simple to understand, uh, don't abuse consumer trust. Uh, people worldwide all ultimately have the same fears and the same concerns uh, and they want to be treated with respect. One of the, one of the perspectives that we have in MEF is, is, is the sense, is the global view where we can see not just the differences but also the similarities between territories. And one of the things we're now actually very interested in are the number of lessons that it's pos it may be possible to share across the Pacific between Latin America and, and, and the APAC countries, which are obviously very different in some ways, but in fact share quite a lot of characteristics. These are high growth, relatively prosperous, very optimistic countries, uh, mobile first, uh, very, bright people, very bright people taking mobile commerce for, forward. Um, we have to remember that the Philippines was the first country in the world to, get to, to, to do person-to-person -person payments. Um, there's a, I think there's a lot to learn, and MEF is in fact going to be um, seeing how we can facilitate a dialogue Trans-Pacific to augment the really very strong transatlantic um, dialogue that goes on all the time between Latin America and Europe. We're going to hear a lot of, in, of innovation happening in the area of mobile payments over the next 12 months. This is, this is a complicated game which requires coordination, which is one reason why MEF, is, I think, has such an important role to play in helping to coordinate the different parts of the, of the value chain. I think payments are an absolutely necessary, absolutely essential condition for success, uh, but not sufficient. So we have to get payments right, or at least not too badly wrong, um, in order to make mobile commerce work. But that, that has to be done in, in tandem with other issues to do with discovery, to do with linkages to merchants, to do with uh, privacy. There are a whole series of things that we have to get more or less right um, in order for this whole thing to move forward.